In all the seas of the world, the warm waters of the tropics contain the richest and the most colorful communities. Coral reefs. They may seem like underwater paradise, but they are perpetual battlegrounds for space. Even the corals have to fight for it. In this crowded, frenetic community, every individual has to find its own place, its own way of surviving. But none of these creatures would be here if it were not for the coral. floating in a soup of young reef animals. If just one of these coral larvae settles in a suitable spot and survives, a new reef will be founded. In just a few days, the lava changes form and becomes a polyp, similar to a sea anemone. Identical copies bud off, and gradually a colony develops. Each polyp surrounds itself with a hard skeleton, and from this solid base begins to grow. It increases in length by an impressive 15 centimeters a year. This branching coral is only two years old. A mature reef can be thousands. Corals provide the foundations on which the entire reef community relies. Some organisms, like the Christmas tree worms, actually live within the coral. Others climb out, away from the reef, to filter their food from the water. As the community grows, intimate relationships are formed and different creatures become increasingly dependent on one another. Even animals that spend much of their time traveling in the open ocean return to the reef for a clean. Coral reefs can be home to astounding numbers of fish. Here swim the smallest and the largest fish in the sea. <laughs> 